Good morning, Dinnington High School. Hope you're all well. I hope you've been having a good Easter holiday and you're ready for the new term. I did hear that the Easter Bunny is a key worker, so I hope he hopped past your house and delivered you some chocolate loveliness or whatever it is you prefer. And I hope you've been getting on with some of our Easter activities so you've not been too bored. It's not too late to get a flat lay photo into the photo challenge. So if you want to do that, email it through to homelearning at diddingtonhigh.co.uk by the end of today. We've actually managed to prize more love to shop vouchers off Mr. Grenham. So we'll have first, second and third prizes as well. Now, you know he loves to send those out because your teachers have been so impressed with how well you engage with your learning before Easter. You did a cracking job and we really get that that's quite tough. So some of you have got to share tablets, laptops, some of you just trying to do it off your phone. Uh, we know some of you working on paper, but in different ways you've been managing and we've been so impressed with you. And your teachers really wanted me to pass that on. So Mr. Grenham is definitely going to be sending out more vouchers over the next few weeks as we wait to see what happens with lockdown. Obviously, your teachers will start sending out more work today um, and just give it a go. Try your best. We know you can't do as many hours as if you're in school, but just do what you can and really make an effort. And if you get stuck, then email your teachers. They'll be more than happy to help you. We don't want you struggling, but we do want you to keep on trying. Now, I'm aware that some folk have been really struggling with their mental health and I've got a few friends who have because it's quite hard, isn't it? Been stuck at home and not being able to really be with your friends and to just have that, that an enjoyment of being with each other. So if you're struggling, you think you need our help, then drop us an email. Um, you can email your form tutor, your year leader, or you could email uh, to info at Dinnington High or ring the school number and leave a message and somebody will get back to you and we'll do what we can to help you. It's tough times and we're all going to be affected in different ways. However, it also seems to me that when times are tough, it's also been bringing out the best in people in so many ways. And I've no doubt you've been helping each other. And I've heard from people in Dinnington that you've been doing a really good job of staying at home, staying well, and keeping yourselves out of uh, harm's way and following the guidance. That's brilliant. That is fantastic. Well done for that. I'm really proud to have heard that. I've also been really proud of a family in our area. I don't know if you've spotted them on Facebook, but the Kelsall family have been working day and night, right through the night, every day, making PPE for local hospitals, for care homes, for GP surgeries, and they've just not stopped. They've been phenomenal. And we, we donated some acetate to them. You might have donated to them. You might have donated a bit of money. You might have donated some stuff they could use with all the things they're making. If you did, that's brilliant. Um, and I just feel really proud there in our community doing that. I've also been absolutely blown away by Captain Tom. I hope you've seen him on the news or on Facebook or wherever. What a remarkable man. I hope you've spotted he was originally from Yorkshire, might have guessed, World War II veteran. And he set out to uh, raise a thousand pounds for the NHS by doing a hundred laps of his garden before his hundredth birthday. And he's way ahead of schedule. And he's made so much more than a thousand pounds. Last time I looked, it was over 25 million. That is huge. I am a bit sad, I have to say, that we're having to raise money for the NHS and that it's not all covered anyway. But doesn't it bring out the best of the British uh, community that we all get stuck in and we all help when we need it? And sometimes that help is the small things, the things that you have been doing over the holidays, because actually the most important thing we can all do is stay home, stop spreading the virus and make sure that we're saving lives that way. So if you've been doing that, you've been doing the most important thing of all. Thank you for doing that. So I hope we can just all capture Captain Tom's positivity. I love the fact that he wakes up every day determined to make it a good one and his motto is tomorrow will be a good day well 
we're going to have good days and bad days, but if we're always determined to make tomorrow a better day than the day before, then we can't go far wrong. So I hope you're doing that. I hope you're also being really kind to everybody around you and trying to make lots of happy memories that you will be able to look back on in amongst the difficulties we'll have, we'll have struggled through. And if you can make people smile and if you can make people laugh along the way, well, you won't go far wrong at all. Always look on the bright side of life. Always look on the bright side of life.